So, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Bowman Frontal, and I'm a researcher from the Czech Republic. And I would like to say a few words uh, today about uh, challenges and obstacles uh, connected with repowering wind farms in Central Europe. So, repowering is uh, replacing of old wind turbines with uh, newer ones with higher capacity, or replacing parts of older wind turbines with uh, newer and more efficient technologies. Uh, there is a lot of benefits uh, connected with repowering. First of all, higher capacity and production from the same piece of land, uh, rails of existing infrastructure, roads, and so on, second-hand turbine market, and other environmental aspects. And of course, uh, there is also expected higher local acceptance. Because the, uh, the turbines are already part of the landscape, uh, they are perceived more uh, visually pleasing and less noisy, and it's expected that landowners and other stakeholders would like to keep uh, getting the revenues from wind farms. Uh, more than uh, 10 gigawatt hours uh, of uh, wind energy was installed between uh, 1995 and uh, 2000 in Europe, which should be in the next few years replaced or dismantled. Uh, in the Czech Republic, which is a small landlocked country in Central Europe, uh, the energy policy is still dominantly based on uh, fossil fuels and nuclear power, with uh, only 10% of renewable energy sources uh, generating electricity and only 1% uh, from uh, wind energy. Uh, the realizable potential of wind energy in the country is uh, estimated for uh, about 2 and 2,500 uh, megawatts, while the installed capacity is so far only 310 megawatts. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, almost 20% of uh, existing wind turbines are the capacity lower than uh, 60, 600 kilowatts, and about half of all wind turbines existing are already older than 10 years. So there is a big potential for repowering, but it doesn't go so fast as expected. Uh, in our project, we made a research on uh, public attitudes and uh, barriers to future developments, particularly repowering projects, trying to identify the main barriers of uh, repowering projects. So, first of all, uh, it's the lack of support schemes. Uh, each year, the feed-in tariffs are getting lower, and the last three years, there are no financial subsidies, no feed-in tariffs for no new wind energy projects. Uh, the second uh, aspect is there are new licensing procedures and a more strict uh, landscape protection limits. So on some places with old wind turbines it's not possible to build new ones and uh, these places will be free with dismantled turbines in the future. Uh, the third aspect is the access and uh, capacity of transmission grid, which is a problem especially for borderland areas where is low capacity and uh, not so much access for new projects. The next uh, is the distributional spatial injustice and opposition from neighboring communities which in some cases live closer to existing wind farms but get no revenues from the projects while the people who get the money are living more far away. And uh, also for some part of the people living uh, closer to existing wind farms uh, there is a change of uh, perception to more negative ones. So wind turbines are getting more annoying for them after some years of existence with them. There is also a contextual negative effect uh, of the boom of solar uh, power plants uh, between 2008 and 2010. And now the image of renewable energy is much worse and it's uh, perceived as kind of speculative business of some investors. There is also a change of the local governments as uh, sometimes the former local opponents of projects became mayors of municipalities now and they are affecting public opinion against repowering projects. So it's another negative factor and uh, some implications for future planning. So the government and politicians should propose more motivating support schemes for repowering projects, for example like in Denmark, in the uh, US and other countries, help uh, transmission operators to increase the capacity and also ensure distributional justice. So uh, better divide the economic profit to surrounding communities and uh, consider higher visibility for larger distances. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, excuse my English. <laughs>